Northern Ireland is an island economy inside an island economy, and it depends on regular links with the rest of the UK. p and action has left a backlog of goods in Scotland and puts pressure on the retail sector. Glenn Roberts of Retail NI says this is the last thing that business here needs. I know that there certainly is a backlog. It's impossible to put a figure on just how much. This is the last thing I think the business community in Northern Ireland need to see is one of our major ports, uh, a question mark put on it. So the government need to act very swiftly in this. We need to see uh, an arrangement that will work and give that long-term uh, certainty and stability uh, to the business community. The public have been warned not to panic buy. But Northern Ireland exports nearly 20% of the UK's food and it's important that a long-term answer is found. The road you see behind me is one of Northern Ireland's main arterial routes. It's the Lauren Highway. It's how we move our goods in and out of the UK. Normally it would be full of HGVs and other vehicles. And right now, it looks like a scene from two years ago when lockdown began. Belfast Port has now taken up the slack and the rival operator Stenoline has put on an additional boat. The flow through in the port is up because of problems around checks in Dublin and the Agricultural Minister Edward Putz explains why it's harder to travel in and out of the Republic. It's uh, much harder to bring goods in uh, to Dublin. There's a far higher level of checks so there obviously isn't the grace periods that exist uh, that have been negotiated uh, for the Northern Ireland goods and uh, therefore it is much more difficult to import into Dublin. In fact, normally uh, about 20% of, of, of southern traffic is coming through Northern Ireland uh, because some of the southern companies are using Northern Ireland as a route uh, to get in because of the grace periods. The freight problems for the short term is solved, but could other ports in the UK face similar problems? Well, it would appear that the, in the short, short, short channel routes are um, between uh, UK and, and the rest of Europe, uh, that you know there is less pressure at this, this time of the year, and uh, therefore uh, those stocks are being maintained. So whilst we can continue doing what we're doing, uh, that's OK. Stena do require this boat to go back over to the Baltic states uh, sometime in April. Uh, so this isn't a long-term solution, uh, but they are stepping into the breach and ensuring that Northern Ireland is fed and supplied uh, whilst we have this P&O crisis. Doogie Beattie, GB News, County Antrim.